The best part about wearing wigs is I can wake up on any given day and be exactly who I want to be. Today I was feeling a little spicy so I went for this reddish brown body wave wig and she's absolutely fire. This one comes courtesy of Elite Hair and you can watch me install her from start to finish and I'll even include this beautiful style. So this is what she looks like straight out of the box. The presentation was 10 out of 10 and I'll show you the packaging towards the end of the video. This one here is a 13 by 4 HD lace wig in the length 26 inches. As I mentioned, this is a body wave bombshell and I'm going to show you how to style, install her, everything you need to know straight out of the box. Step one for me today is going to be to go ahead and cut off the excess lace at the nape. This is going to be something you have to do because you can't do it once the wig is installed by yourself. Then I'm going to anchor the wig on with the adjustable elastic band that was included, put the rest of the wig on, and now we are here. I'm going to go ahead and pull the hair back and cut off any excess lace around the ear, including any lace that includes actual hair fibers. The reason I'm doing this is because you want a custom fit. You want to be able to tuck your hair behind your ears and it fit like a glove. Now I'm just deciding if I want to do sideburns or if I want to cut off these ear tabs. Today I'm definitely going for sideburns and it's going to set the look off and give her a really really good flare so i'm going to go ahead and cut off the excess lace this is simple and easy but if you are struggling with this step i highly recommend taking the wig off placing it on a mannequin head and you can cut it off with a little bit more i guess you can say help because you'll be able to see the entire wig and you know take breaks once the lace is cut off i'm going to go ahead and bond her down this is a glueless install so i am using a glueless adhesive which is simply an extra hold hairspray and then from here i'm going to just go ahead and bond each section off starting with the center and then doing side and then the opposite side again blow drying on a cool setting so that it can give a more flawless install and now we're here the wig is bonded down and we are ready for a good style one of the things that is important to decide is whether you want to do sideburns or if you want to keep it super clean again i was feeling spicy so we definitely are doing full on baby hair and sideburns i'm going to use this flat iron and it's like a pencil size flat iron to go ahead and curl the baby hair before we style it using the edge control only at the base or the lace and then just making the swoop and just taking my time to form it exactly how i like and doing the exact same thing on the opposite side now one of the reasons I did go ahead and um, curl this one with heat is because this is a colored processed wig and I did not want to really wet it due to color transfer but you can definitely do that and use like your mousse or whatever you like Make sure you perfect the hairline. You want to use wax or whatever product you like. You guys know I'm a dynamic duo girl, so I like to use my wax stick paired with the electric hot comb to really, really, really give me a really, really sleek finish. And then I'm going to go ahead and curl the sideburns towards my face, and you can see how much it curls. And then I'm going to guide the hair with the baby hair brush, applying that edge control to the base again, and then just taking my time to form it into exactly what I like, removing any hair that just doesn't fit. It. you can trim it you can make it thinner you can do whatever you like or you can just not do the step at all the choice is definitely yours and that is the beauty in wigs you don't have to do what anyone else does you can make it your own i'm going to add a little bit more wax and just take my time to really really perfect the hairline at this point i wasn't sure if i was going to add a parting so i wanted to make sure the hairline really really popped now I'm going to go ahead and tint it with this foundation powder. I'm packing it in and I'm using a generous amount really to give it a skin-like appearance. Being my own critic, I could definitely have used a darker shade to give it more of a cocoa look. But this is what I had at the moment and it definitely worked out towards the end. Here I am stamping out a center part. A center part definitely is like a a no-brainer a bust down middle part on any wig definitely is gonna look good and it's definitely a safe style now this one does come as a 13 by 4 or a 13 by 6 I have a 13 by 4 today but if you want a little bit of extra parting space definitely opt for the 13 by 6 when you purchase yours on the site because you guys already know I have this one linked in the description box and I'm using the back of a curling iron to just go in and really really get the base of the wig super flat here I'm using a cream foundation to go in and tint the parting. You definitely want to make sure your parting space looks more like skin and you can kind of conceal that grid so it just looks a lot more natural. 
You guys already seen in the thumbnail and the intro, the style we chose today was two little pigtails. This is a style I don't do often as I am a woman of a certain age. I am starting to get away from looks like this, but today again, I was feeling spicy. I was feeling fun. The center part is already stamped out, so I could really have been done at this point, but I just wanted to do something super cute and fun, and I really like it, especially with like a band tee. It just gives that edgy vibe that I love so much, and as you guys can see, the lace was so flat that this was just super simple and effortless to achieve now i am removing the melt belt the purpose of the melt belt was just to make sure everything was super flat i was going to curl the hair but i just realized how beautiful the natural body wave texture was and it just wasn't necessary on this particular day here i'm showing you the packaging from Aliti hair they do include a shopping bag the box was inside of a box and look how beautiful this is i love the color it does match my hair today which definitely was a coincidence but how cute is that and then this is the box. Again, this was a box inside of a larger box. Inside the tissue paper does have their brand on it. And then you receive this holographic reusable zip pouch. And inside we did get a baby hairbrush. We also got a melt belt, which you can use to secure that hairline. This was making me so excited. This is a three pack of lashes. So that's definitely going to last me a little bit. They also included a pack of wig caps. And that was pretty much it. This is the wig in its fullness. I love, love, love the texture, the length, the density. Everything this one about this one was amazing. Definitely love the 26 inches and the hairline. Definitely, definitely, I feel like I did my thing. Be sure to check out the description box. I have lists and links of this wig and everything we use in this video. I also will share a coupon code if I can get one from the company. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like this video, and share with your friends. And as always, I'll see you in the next one. Smooches!